Welcome everybody. Hello everyone. Hi, it's Auntie Jenny. Hello children. Welcome to Sunday Club. I will make you fishers of men. Fishers of men. Fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men. If you follow me. If you follow me, if you follow me, I will make you fishers of men. And if you follow me, hear Christ calling, come unto me, come unto me, come unto me. Hear Christ calling, come unto me. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Hear Christ calling, come unto me. I will give you rest. I hope you enjoyed this song and you will share it with your friends and with your family. We're going to learn about Jesus giving us a second chance. This story happened after Jesus had died and he has risen again. He had made the disciples about two or three times. Now, the disciples were not sure where Jesus was and what they were going to do with themselves next. So Peter, son of John, decided to go back to fishing because that's what he knew. So two other disciples decided to follow him. So they all went off, got back into their boat and decided to go fishing. All through the night, they tried really hard to catch some fish, but they couldn't get any fish. And they were so sad, they decided, okay, we're gonna wash our nets and go back. And as they were rowing back to land, not far from the shore, they saw a man standing at the standing at the beach and they didn't know who it was. But this man shouted out to them and said, Hello fellows. They said hi and he said, Look, throw out your net to the right side. And they said to him, But we haven't caught anything. We have been fishing all night. We didn't catch anything. And Jesus said, Throw your net to the right side. And Peter said, Well, if you say so, we will. And then he threw the nets to the right side of the boat. And therefore they caught loads of fish. And the fish were so was so much they tried to pull it, pull it out of the ship. It was so much and was too heavy. But they were getting closer and closer to the shore. As they got there, they suddenly realized it was Jesus. And Peter shouted it's the lord and he put on his shirt because he had been half naked fishing he put on his shirt he jumped out of the boat and he went to meet jesus and jesus said come on have you eaten and he said no he said come i've got breakfast for you so jesus took them to where he had had a fire lit and they were roast he was roasting some fire uh, some fish on the fire he had some bread and he said to them sit down let's have breakfast and by this time, the other disciples had come and they had joined him. And then Jesus said, what have you caught? And Peter went to the net and brought out all the fish he caught. And he emptied it. They counted it. There was like 153 large fish. And this was for people that hadn't caught any fish all night. So they ate breakfast. And... Peter was worried that, that Jesus had forgiven him. I mean, they're saying he denied Jesus three times when they were persecuting Jesus. And but Jesus just invited him back and just invited him for breakfast. Now they're having breakfast together as Jesus giving Peter a second chance. And after they had finished eating, they were sort of relaxing. 
Jesus looked at Peter and said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter looked at Jesus and said, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus looked at Peter again and said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said, yes, you know that I love you. And Jesus said, look after my sheep. Then he asked him again one more time. This was the third time. Do you love me, Simon, son of John? Lord, you know that I love you. You know all things. You know everything. Then feed my sheep, said Jesus. Yeah. And that's, when you feed my sheep, I mean, you're telling them all about me. And you are preaching and sharing the word of Jesus with everybody. At the end of the day, everyone in the world, including those yet to be born, will hear and know about the good things that Jesus has done. And that means, and that's how, sorry, that's how Jesus gave Peter a second chance. And if you look at the Bible, most of the stories about Jesus was written by Peter. And that's how we today know a lot about Jesus' work and how to live our life like Jesus' followers. I hope you can go back to the Bible and look at the book of John, chapter 21, verse 1 to 19, to read the story again. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm going to teach you how to make a fish. We fold it in half piece of paper to make a triangle. Then we cut the excess off. So it looks like this, like a diamond shape or square. And then we fold over each corner. To make a kite shape. Then we open it up again and we fold it back to the original triangle shape which will give us a nice straight line. Now we're going to cut in straight lines like, like this so that not all the way through only up to the line because we're going to make it's skill like it's yeah skills and then we're gonna open it up again and we're going to fold it at the bottom like so so it'd be like that and then we're going to sellotape it like so Right at the front, like so, like so. Now we're going to open it back up and it should look 3D. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the front at the front to make it more curved so it looks more like a face for a fish. And at the bottom, we're going to insert a piece of paper from the paper that we cut off. But we're going to cut a roundish, we're going to cut like a half a circle, like so. If you get stuck, you can ask your parents to help you to do this. And we're going to stick this at the bottom to form a, a mouth for the fish. Then we're going to make some eyes for our fish. And we're going to make googly eyes. 
So what we're gonna do, not what we're gonna do, you either use googly eyes or you use a piece of that, piece of paper, make a, make it round shape, fold it in half, and then you'll get a pencil and draw the eyeballs in the middle. So like so, like this. And I'm gonna cut that in half now and stick it either side of the fish's face. Like so. Then we're going to make the fish's tail and we're going to make the fish's fin at the side. And what we're going to do is the same piece of paper, we're going to fold it in half and then half again. And then we're going to cut a heart shape like so. So then we've got two heart shapes. I'm going to stick one heart shape at the bottom for the fish's tail. going to cut the heart shape in half and we're going to stick it on either side of our fish and either side of our fish like so. So then we've got our fish Hi, it's Auntie Jenny. We're going to do some craft today. So first of all, you need a piece of paper. And if you've got um, the netting that either onions come in or oranges come in, you can ask your mum or dad if you can use that, because um, we'll need that later on. And um, some pens and we're ready to go. Let's have some fun. So you've got an A4 piece of paper which you need to fold in half. And along the folded line at the top here, you need to fold it into a triangle like this. Okay, so you should have the open bit at the end. You need to turn one end up like this and then turn it over and turn the other end. And it looks a bit like a hat. And now you need to pull the middle out and fold it again flat. So you're folding it from this to this. Tuck the ends in like this on both sides and you will have a square. From your square, you've got two ends that open up. On one of the ends that opens up, you need to fold it this way and then you need to turn the piece of paper over and fold the other end up. And now you have a triangle again. And from that triangle, you need to pull the two ends out again into a square. Then you will have two bits here that you can pull out. And if you pull them out and fold them flat like this, you have a boat. And this is your boat. So you can use your net to attach to the bow because in Bosse's story today, she talks about um, the fisherman fishing, uh, especially Peter. And then you can decorate your boat. So if you've got some pencils or pens at home, you can use those. And you could draw some sea on the bottom of the boat because we know it's like, we know it's out on the sea. 
and then you might want to make your boat would have been made out of wood so you could draw some wood and colour it in and then you might want to put some disciples in the boat. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.